I'm like, please tell me, God, why am I supposed to do right by those who left me to die? Why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm sick of these words, but lately I need them to fly. Let them know don't trip, we gon' be straight, I swear it's all good. I left that lovey shit in my past life. I can never say no to getting this part of scene in my past life. All good. Alright, I understand mixing is difficult. It's one of the hardest things to master. If you're tired of clicking on tutorials just for them to be way too complex, way too hard to understand, or the final mix in the video just sounds like your unemployed cousin mixed it for $7 in another vape. Yeah, this is your video. I'm only going over the things that actually matter to get you the cleanest, most crystal clear mix possible in the easiest way possible. Even if the mic you're recording on sucks. All the plugins featured in this video are inside of the Slate Digital Complete Access Bundle, so you don't have to go broke buying tons of different third-party plugins like other videos might require of you. We're not all rich here, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so before we begin, it's super difficult to save a bad recording. If you can check everything off this list, you're golden. This is recorded on the AT2020 and the Scarlet 2i2. The whole setup is worth maybe 75 bucks on eBay, so there's no excuses. So when Gio recorded, he already had pitch correction on his vocals. He did two different punch-ins right here, and we do this because in places like right here, you see the tail of the audio overlaps to right here. If you have both of these on the same track, that's not going to sound as clean. Good. That's what my Good. That's what my so yeah, unless you have a recording chain like Geo's with pitch correction already on it, your vocals aren't going to be tuned. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a super simple process, but often done wrong. First thing you need to do, just to be absolutely safe, since I'm not sure what mic you guys are working with, make sure to pull back to at least 80 hertz right here. That way the pitch correction isn't trying to tune all these ghost frequencies down here. And then just apply it. Family, y'all good. My brothers are good. And then obviously just turn up the retune speed to however much tune you actually want. Family, y'all good. My brothers are good. First off, let's start with the speed. So if we turn off all the effects, there's tons of problems. Right off the bat, the 808 is way too loud. The clap's a little too loud. So what we're gonna do is open an EQ. All right, let's delete all this and start over so I can show you guys the process. First off, we're gonna reduce the low end. All right, one problem you're gonna run into is when you do this, the 808 now sounds super thin and just kind of cheap. So what you can do to fix this is place a bell at around 120 hertz and turn that part down too. Now the bass sounds deeper. That clap right there is insanely loud. What you could do is just turn it down like that. That's also turning down a lot of other stuff and kind of hollowing out the beat way too much. So what you need to do instead is click dynamic and you're gonna to wanna to turn the threshold down and then you're gonna to wanna to turn the target down like that. Let's turn that back up. So now we got this. And you'll notice that instead of keeping it turned down 24 seven, it only turns it down when that clap hits. And that's because the dynamic EQ only goes into effect once the sound has crossed that threshold. So this way it's not hollowing out the whole beat the entire time. You can use this on hi-hats, any certain parts of the beats you wanna turn down without stems. So now onto the actual vocal mixing. Okay, so the first EQ you're gonna wanna add has a few different things here. And let's just erase this so I can show you my exact process. First thing you're gonna wanna do obviously is roll back those lows. So open up an infinity EQ and roll this back until you get to the meat of the vocal. All that right there, you want that gone. Family, y'all good. My brothers are good. I told them all we gonna shine and I'ma do everything that I Not too much, because you'll end up with a really thin vocal this way. All right, next, let's create a bell. And this is a very boxy vocal. By boxy, I mean there's lots of frequencies pushed up in the mids here. Family, y'all good. My brothers are good. Family, y'all good. My brothers are good. All right there. It's really, really rough. So let's turn that down. Look at these woods, but lately I need them to fly. All right, next. This plugin right here is a power player. If you have thin vocals, this will instantly fix it. Alright, when you first open it, it's gonna look like this. Click on hip hop, and then you're gonna wanna turn this down to about 45 to 50 percent. Family, y'all good. My brothers are good. Pull this up to the very max. Highest it'll go. Then you're gonna wanna pull these down to taste. The goal here is to even out the frequency response of this voice in general. So we're gonna add a ton of body and then subtract from it later. Come up on this high band until you hear just a little bit of crisp. I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. Okay, so here's what we were left with. The point is to remove a lot of the mids and highs and boost those lows up a ton. I said I'd chase a look at my back. I swear it's all wood. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to move over to my favorite Slate plugin. It's a virtual mix rack. It's got a ton of different plugins here to select from. I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate mix chain with this thing, starting with compression. So you can see I've got all this stuff lined up. I turned off everything, and we're going to go through these one by one. First off, you're going to want to use a legendary 1176 and LA2A combo. So just search 116, and you'll see all the different 116 compressors. You're going to want to start with the modern. All you have to do is just turn up the input. I said I'd change a look at my bag. I swear it's all wood. I said I'd change a look at my bag. I swear it's all wood. 
All right, now next, you're gonna wanna find the LA2A emulation. And this goes after, but this is gonna catch all those peaks. And this one right here is gonna smooth it out. With this one, you do have to set it up a bit. First off, change compress to limit. Turn the mix down to about 50%. And then we're gonna just turn up the peak reduction. I said I'd change the glick in my bag. I swear it's so all wood. Perfect. So we got the compression down. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the DSer. Let me turn that on here. Enable HF only. Set this to 3K hertz. And then you're gonna wanna turn up this knob right here. I said I'd change the glick in my bag. I swear it's so all wood. I said I'd change the glick in my bag, I swear it's all wood. Nice. Careful not to overdo this. All right, and next, you're gonna wanna grab a saturation plugin. This is the London saturation plugin. It's gonna add some distortion and grit. It'll make your voice sound thicker, fuller. Turn it up, and then as soon as it starts sounding distorted, back it off just a little bit. I told him all that in time, I'ma do what I said that I would. Millions, what I seen clear in my head since my. So that's way too much right there. I told him I we gon' shine and I'ma do everything that I could. I'm like, please tell me, God. I think that's the perfect amount right there. All right, next you're gonna find something in the master section. You're gonna find revival. And this is what we're gonna use to brighten it up a little bit. That's shimmer. That's gonna excite the top end. And then thickness is gonna saturate those lows. I told him I we gon' shine and I'ma do everything that I could. I told him all that in time, I'ma do what I said that I would. Millions, what I seen clear in my head since my childhood. Yeah, pretty big difference. So yeah, that's it there. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is throw in an EQ to get rid of all those lows that we added. Which you're not going to want to do is do this right here. You don't want to completely cut that out. What you want to do is reduce it. Let's create a band here. I told them all we gon' shine and I'ma do everything that I could. I told them all that in time I'ma do what I said that I would. All right, that's perfect right there. So you're gonna wanna attack this and this right here. The 300 to 500 range. If your vocal's muddy 100% of the time, that's where it is. Just narrow this right here. I told them all we gon' shine and I'ma do everything that I could. All right, now let's decrease these frequencies too. I told them all we gon' shine and I'ma do everything that I could. I told them all that in time I'ma do what I said that I would. So this is definitely more of an unorthodox method, but I use murder melodies to actually widen my vocals. There's a really specific way you have to do it first off turn your spread up to about 80 percent and then turn the amount knob very very low no more than 20 percent and why am i to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie mm. i'm sick of these woods but lately i need them to fly let them know don't trip we gonna be straight i swear it's all good all right that way there are no artifacts none of that scratchiness kind of gets through and then after that you're gonna grab ssl fusion stereo image this is all included in the slate digital complete access bundle turn up the space and width about two and four and why am i to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie Mm. This kind of enhances what's already there. Finally, you're going to want to turn the beat on for this step. And this is going to be your final EQ. This one's a little tricky, so let me show you how this is going to be done. Let's delete all of this. Go ahead and do a hard cut. Cut out those lows. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. Let them know don't trip, we gonna be straight, I swear it's all good. All right, and like earlier, let's type those muddy frequencies. So 300 range right here. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. Let them and let's go ahead and create a shelf and push all of this down right here. Just a little bit more. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. All right, now I can hear some of the mid-range that's kind of poking up still. And you can actually see it here as well. So what we're going to do is push that down just a little bit. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. Okay, so now that we've got that controlled, there is some harshness in the top end, and those are called resonant frequencies. How you find those is create a narrow band, turn it up about 10 dB. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? And you want to scan up and down, and as soon as a frequency sticks out to you, it's way louder than all the surrounding frequencies. That's how you know you found a resonant frequency. You want to suppress that just a little bit. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. Let them know don't trip, we gonna be straight, I swear it's all good. I love that lovey shit in my past life. I can never say no to getting this part of city. All right, so there's one right there. Let's turn that down just a little bit. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? And I suspect there's some up here as well. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. Let them know don't trip, we gonna be straight, I swear it's all. So let's turn that down some, about like that. Let's create another bell right here. Let's sort of push all of that down just to kind of support that peak right there. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Okay, so now let's go into the reverb, delay, all that kind of stuff. So you could just add your reverb plugin into slot A, but I really prefer a little bit more control. So we're gonna use a send. All you gotta do to create a send is just move over a mixer chain. Obviously, you can name it reverb. Click on your main vocals and then just click this button down here to route it. Drop your reverb plugin on. The reverb we used today was SSL Native Flexverb. You can just find that in the bundle. Click until you find the large chambers preset. So now it sounds like this. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? I'm sick of these words, but lately I need them to fly. All right, so now all you gotta do is just turn that down to taste. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Mm. I'm 
I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly Let them know don't trip, we gon' be straight, I swear it's all good I left that lovey shit in my past life I think this does need quite a bit of reverb, so I left it about like that Alright, and then you're gonna wanna add an EQ And cut out some of those muddy frequencies I find it easier to do with an EQ instead of just using the native EQ that they supply here I find it a lot more clean, so as you can see I just turned down the 200 And around the 700 range right here And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? So yeah, let me turn that back down. And why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. Let them know don't trip, we gon' be my head since my childhood. I'm like, please tell me, God. All right, perfect. And now let's do the exact same thing right here to create a delay send. And the plugin I use here was X Delay, also by SSL. All right, when you first open it up, it'll probably look about like this. Ignore everything else on here. Turn off delay two, just leave on delay one, and then set it to one half, just like that. God. I think that's the perfect speed for this first delay here, especially for a more mellow track. And then the cool thing you can do with Sends is you can spice stuff up. So what I did was open up a THU Slate. It's actually a guitar amp. And I added the moody picking and I turned the mix level down to about 40% or so. Yeah. That's a super cool distortion to it. I love doing this. You can hear it on Juice World songs sometimes. Next, I just added another EQ. I wanted to really get rid of those lows and boost those highs. This is before. Yeah. And this is after. All right, so the only problem now is that it isn't super audible. But when you turn it up, here's a problem. Good, my brother's all good. I told him all we gonna shine and I'ma do everything that I could. I told him all that into- Yeah, no, it's super distracting. Turn it super low, right click, create automation clip, just like that. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is create one little triangle, not like that, and then cut. And then you can see right here, I put it at the end of every take. So there's like a little space right here. So good, my brother's all good. I told him all we gonna shine and I'ma do everything that I could. I told him all that in time, I'ma do all I said that I would. Mainly that's what I seen clear in my head since my childhood. I'm like, please tell me God, why am I supposed to do right by those who left me to die? Why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. So much better. All right, now we're going to create one more send right here and name it low. Add a meta pitch to it. Turn the semitones down 12 and the format down 12. And then you're going to want to turn up the widener to 75%. And it creates this really, really dope low double. Those who left me to die. Why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? Turn it down super low. Those who left me to die. Why am I to speak the truth when all of my enemies lie? I'm sick of these woods, but lately I need them to fly. It's just barely audible, but it adds so much. And that extra width down at the bottom really, really improves the mix overall. It's a super popular trick that Bad Bunny uses as well, along with Juice World too, a lot of other artists. And I know this is a ton of plugins, but yeah, I mean, everything, even the SSL stuff, it's all in the complete access bundle. It's over like $15,000 of value. It's future-proof. It's got really good DSP algorithms, which is the actual code that manipulates the sound. It's more advanced and more current than Waves, UAD, and it's updated regularly. So you get new plugins all the time. So yeah, I've got a link in the description for that that you guys can use to get 20% off. I've been using them for years as a full-time engineer, so I'm so lucky to have the opportunity to give you guys a good discount. All right, now, you can see these things right here. People always ask me how I do these. My family, y'all good. My brothers, I seen clear in my head since my childhood. I'm like, please tell me, God. Now, those are super cool. All you gotta do to make these, grab the very first syllable of wherever you wanna lead into, drag it down here, boom, just like that. Move another mixer over, name it reverse, Send your main chain out, just like that. You're gonna wanna mute your reverb, delay, and low. Add a lustrous plate sound in. Copy these exact settings. All you wanna do is just turn up the reverb time damper to the very max. Ignore all this other stuff. <laughs> Click this button right here to enable disc recording. Go to the drop down, disc recording, render your objects, wave file. Stop at about three, just like that. Now, you've got this. <laughs> just reverse that and cut off this part right here. Fade it out a little bit. And then simply ride it to another chain right here and add some EQ. Done. My family y'all good, my brothers all good The very last thing we have are these ad-libs All good, I left that lovey shit in my past life I can never say no to getting this part of scene in my past life All good, that's what my family is and you mad type I said I changed it Alright, to make the ad-lib chain, it's super simple Go to your main chain, go file, save mixer state as And then drag it over to your ad-lib Alright, let's rename it ad-lib Alright, the only thing you're gonna wanna change is add on another THU slate Move it up to right after the de -esser. Select the crunchy rhythm preset and then turn it down Yeah, yeah this gives it that cool crunch that we want. Next, your murder melodies, you're gonna wanna turn that up to about 45%. Yeah. And then that EQ, just be a lot more aggressive and remove a lot more low end. Because in a lot of songs, the main difference between an ad lib track and the main track is ad lib track has some more lows cut out of it. That way the listener kinda tells this is a secondary vocal. Yeah. Yeah. 
I left that lovey sh in my past life. I can never say no to getting this. And then obviously right here, you can hear it too. But what we did was we routed it to the delay we used earlier. But now we actually made a second delay right here. All it is is a repeater. A good trick to do with repeater, ignore all this other stuff right here. Set one of these to one eighth and set one of them to one sixteenth. This way it sounds a lot more full. Yeah. If they're both set to one eighth, yeah. it doesn't sound as good. This way the delay effectively doubles up. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Now, the final thing we need to work on is, of course, master. I swear, man, somebody will have a 20-step process just for somebody on Spotify to do this. Recently, I've developed a super minimalist approach to mastering quicker, saves you a lot of time and resources, stops you from loading your master chain up, and getting a ton of playback latency. I don't know if you've ever heard the 80-20 rule, but it states that 80% of the results come from 20% of the causes. So we're going to nail down that 20%. First thing you're going to want to do is add a virtual tape machine. This will give it that analog sound. You're going to want to leave everything as default. Click on settings right here. You're going to want to turn the bass alignment down just a little bit because this does add a little bit of a bass bump. About negative 2 dB is perfect. It's all good. I left that love you shit in my past life. I can never say no to getting this part of in my past life. All right, next we're going to add another EQ. And as you can see, all I did here was just make a band, did the same thing we did earlier, and just sweep through everything. And then when I found these two frequencies I didn't like, right in 500 to reduce some of that muddiness, and then up around 3K to reduce some of the harshness in the high end, all I did was click dynamic and I moved the target down just a little bit, just like that. This is a lot more transparent, and I recommend you doing this. On the master instead of just straight up dipping cutting all that out next i added this fgx2 man this thing is god tier i use this mastering engine all the time it's super simple works amazingly well select preset 4 loud pumpy master and then you're going to want to choose the loud mode right over here obviously we're going to want a competitive sound and it's so simple all you got to do is just turn up this game you really shouldn't have to do much more all i want out of this thing right here is just a good limiter we're hitting about negative eight luffs absolutely perfect luffs are a more accurate measurement of loudness so the meter readout on your doll might say negative zero but one mix is negative zero might not be as loud as another mix is negative zero so luffs takes into account the db and the perceived loudness so how humans perceive it to be and like i said earlier if you want a loud competitive mix on spotify most tracks are mixed to between about negative 10 and negative 6 hope you guys enjoyed this video shout out to slate digital and the whole team for making some of the best mixing plugins of the century and uh yeah see you guys next time